Hey you guys, it is your girl Kia if y'all up in the building. I love on your screen and today we're gonna talk about what I want in a man. No, I'm just kidding y'all. This title is total clickbait because we're not even gonna talk about that. Um, I find it funny how for most people when they're single, we always try to focus on what we want from the other person as opposed to what we want to bring to the table ourselves. And my mom asked me one time a couple years ago, I had made a list of everything I wanted my marriage to detail, spirituality, trust, love, this, that, and the third. She was like, okay, so you have this for your relationship. What do you have for you to bring to a man that could possibly fulfill what you want in a relationship? And you know, it made me, it, 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 I was like, excuse me, mom, whose side are you on? Huh? Whose side are you on? And in reality, she's just trying to help me to focus, I feel like, on my part as opposed to being so worried about what the other person could bring. Um, you should still worry about what the other person is bringing. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes we focus so much on what we want from the other person that we don't really look at things like, okay, so what do I need to bring to the table in order to have this type of re relationship, in order to attract this type of person? So today we're going to talk about what do I want in myself to bring to a man? Okay, we're going to change you up. Some fellas might like that. You might like, hey. I'm single. Listen, I, I, we, we still getting it together though. So give me some more time. <laughs> Unless you're gonna bear with me through this. Listen, give, give me a little more, little more time. All right. So, what do I want in myself for a man? Um, the first thing I want for myself to be able to bring to the table if my relationship is an organized life. You guys. I want the ability to manage my house, my life properly, and not just let things happen. A lot of times I personally get, you know, comfortable <laughs> and like I don't be the most organized with my life or with my time. And then I feel like I just let the whole day happen to me and I didn't get anything done. So I am trying to um, really work on that aspect in my life of organizing my life. Even if it be organizing my room, getting my, my room together and my restroom and, and the house and stuff in order. It's very important that I have some type of organization about me because, listen, I may be able to live in clutter. However, he may not. My future man may, may detest it. So... That is something I'm working on as well as being able to organize the things that I want to do in life and really be able to zoom in focus on stuff, especially um, different areas such as businesses I want to get into. So being organized is definitely going to be important because like I said, I want to have multiple streams of income and you got to be focused. You got to know what's going on and organization definitely plays a part in that. So I want to be able to bring an organized life at least as much as I can and then we can work on it in a relationship too. You know what I mean? So none of this stuff that I'm mentioning is stuff that I feel like you can just do one day and then that's it like all of this is going to take continual reiteration it's going to take continual pressure on my end to be able to do so listen when you get ready to prepare your list for what you want to bring to the table just know that it's something you're going to have to increment in your life daily all the time like it's not gonna be a one shot and done don't be giving him all the good stuff on the honeymoon and then your real self come out sis so yeah that's what we are going to be working on the other thing i want to bring to my man is patience because i don't have none <laughs> my patience is very very slim okay and i feel like this is important for my man as well as for my future kids like I can't just be like over it and be like fine I just do it because sometimes I'm definitely one of those people I don't like to wait for folks like if it's something I want to do I want to do it then I don't want to wait I don't want to lollygag around I don't want to look around like I want to get it done and that's it and sometimes being that way is a good thing but most times it's not because that's not how life works okay in my head i'd be like i want to do this by five o'clock i want to leave here by six i want to get there by 6 30 and that's not how stuff works you get traffic the car break down somebody get on your nerves and call you stuff like that so i have to learn patience okay i've been working on it but it's definitely something that I'm going to have to deal with continuously for the rest of my life because this is not one of them easy things, all right? Patience is a lifelong, a lifelong journey, for real. So 
that's what I'm going to be able to bring to my husband, though, and my kids is patient. The patient side of me, the side of me that's not so, okay, I want it this way or, you know, something's wrong. So that is what I want. The next thing I want to bring to my man is lovingness. I want to be able to be loving, to be nurturing, and to be open to love. Now, this is a very important, I feel like. For me, because when you've been single for so long, you get into a kind of a selfish mode, honestly. And like I've said in past videos, like I'm okay with being selfish right now. It's just me. Like I get that. But I also at the same time want to still have a loving, sweet side about me. That's not always like, oh, I got this. I don't need you. Where I always have to be this hard, tough person. I want to be able to be nurturing and vulnerable at the same time. While also being like, listen, don't play with me. You know, I'm about my stuff. And I can handle this business but come here let me give you a kiss you know what I mean like I want to be able to have those different um like faucets of me different faces of me faucets whatever you want to call it um to where I can be loving and at the same time you know that I'm not playing with you so don't try it type of vibe so yeah I would say loving the next thing I want to bring to my man is the ability to let go <laughs> of anger and not keep tabs okay so listen i have learned for the most part that most relationships won't work if it's a tip for tap thing all the time okay you have to be able to learn how to let stuff go and move past it and i keep running to people that don't know how to let stuff go and it can be the most minorest of things and i don't like that okay and i don't want to be like that because i know that i can I, I am very, when it comes to certain people in my family, like, if you do something, I'm totally fine with, like, holding on to that and not letting it go. And <laughs> relationships just be what they be. But I know for a fact that if I want a good relationship with my husband, like, you have definitely got to let stuff go um after things happen because y'all gonna go through a bunch of stuff all right he gonna make you mad a bunch of times she gonna make you mad a bunch of times i'm gonna get on your nerves a lot but you're gonna have to be able to let it go <laughs> as long as it's something you can't let go now i'm not talking about you know extra stuff you know what i mean some some crazy stuff but i'm talking about just the day-to-day -day stuff the day-to-day -day, you know disagreements arguments you have to be able to let it go and you know know that Y'all still love each other. I don't like what you did. Say what you got to say about it. But then literally both of y'all sit down and be like, okay, what we going to do about it? All right. So we going to let it go. Right? Right. And really let it go. So that's what I want to be able to bring to my mans is the ability to let go. Okay. No tip for tats. None of that. All right. So the next thing I want to be able to bring is forgiveness. The ability to forgive consistently, because I feel like in a relationship, it's going to be a lot of times you're going to have to forgive, all right? You're going to say something off the top of your dome that was terrible, and he's going to have to forgive you, and you're going to have to forgive him. So, forgiveness is definitely a huge thing to um, be able to do in a relationship. So, I want to be able to bring this to him, because... Like I said, sometimes I be holding on to stuff. That's where that tip for tat, that let it go. I need to let it go and forgive. Okay? <laughs> let it go, forgive. So, I do want to be able to be a forgiving person. So, yeah, that's what I want to be able to bring to my man. The next thing I want to be able to bring is the ability to be complete with myself, but be able to add on to someone else. I feel like this is, like, huge. Okay, I feel like this is huge for everybody because it seems like we live in a world where if you're not with somebody, then people look at you as like half of a person like and you start to really look at yourself as half of a person like, oh, my God, I need a man to complete me. So you go out and you desperately date and you get whatever boogeyman is out there in the streets child, and you end up living this life of despair, upsetness, craziness. All because you didn't feel complete by yourself enough to wait for somebody else to come to you that feels complete with themselves, but want to add on to your life and you want to add into their life. Okay. Like, I don't really want to be somebody's complete earth, sun and stars and, and all that type of stuff. If you get what I mean, 
because that's a lot of pressure. When you come into a relationship, I feel like, and you're not complete and you expect for this person to like always make you happy, always make you feel good. That's a lot of pressure on a person. And that's really not necessarily why they're here. They're here to add on to your happiness and, you know, be there for you when things go down. Like, that's what they're there for. They're not there to just completely necessarily be your be all, end all, my idol type of person. And that's a lot of pressure. So I want to make sure that I am comfortable with being by myself, being able to handle things by myself, as well as being able to love myself the way that I want to be loved because it seems like when you look for somebody else to love you the way you want to be loved you always come up with a short end of a stick and you're like you're not loving me right but the fact is baby you gonna have to love yourself too still even though somebody loves you you are still going to have to love yourself because they don't know what's in your head they don't really know you know what to do every day to reiterate to you oh my god you're pretty oh my god you're beautiful and that could be annoying to them so you have to be able to deal with your own stuff by yourself sometimes okay so that's why i want to be able to be complete by myself but be able to add on to someone else's life as opposed to just be their sun their moon and their sun and their stars and all that stuff so yeah that's what i want to be able to bring (laughs) the next thing i want to be able to bring is the ability to manage my temper better (laughs) goes hand in hand with a lot of things you know what I mean because I I think that this is important to be able to be uh, to be able to control your temper because a lot of stuff is going to happen in a relationship and the last thing I really want to do is let my temper get the best of me by doing stupid stuff okay because I was angry and ruining a good relationship in a heated moment and making it so much bigger than what it was or assuming so much more than what the reality of it is so I want to be able to bring balanced tempered temperament to the relationship and this is one of those things too that you got to work on forever and always so yeah because I know man want no woman that temper is a zero to 100 real quick all of the time not all the time. It's not fun. It's it's not fun. And I'm pretty sure they get annoyed with it too. So that's what I want to be able to bring. I also want to be able to bring to my man the ability to love and be loved despite all past hurts. That is a big thing. Okay. That is huge because I feel like all of us eventually get hurt so much that the ability to love, we kind of lose that in a sense and it really sucks it really really sucks and that's something that I've literally had to deal with for a while now um because I know the type of person that I am and the type of person I want to be in a relationship but you always think like oh but I've been hurt before so you try to restrain yourself from being that loving super caring person and I don't want to be that way You know what I mean? Like, I get it. I've been hurt before. I have been through some mess before, but I don't want to mess up or change my wanting to love somebody innocently, purely, you know, realistically, (laughs) you know, just, just genuinely because of past heartbreaks. So this is what I'm working on. And sometimes this is very scary because you have been hurt and it does make you not want to be that vulnerable again. But I feel like with the right person, it will be worth it. So the ability to love and be loved despite all past hurts. And like I said, and be loved too is a big thing. When you get hurt sometimes, sometimes you don't know if somebody is genuinely loving you or if this is a game or if they're trying to get something out of you so this is definitely something to work on and definitely something I want to be able to bring to my man so yeah yeah the next thing I want to be able to bring to my man is cooperation (laughs) cooperation is important in a relationship okay um because of what I believe the women are supposed to submit to their husbands, okay? I'm not I'm not submitting 
to a man who I don't trust his guidance. That is, <laughs> and that's the good, that's the bad part. That that that's the bad part about it. Okay, that's where my cooperation gotta be in because I literally I really want to meet a man that like I don't have to be like you're gonna sink us. I don't trust you. You know what I mean? And that all plays a part in who I pick too. Can I pick somebody that I can cooperate with? Somebody that we're working together as a team and not, oh, I'm doing my thing. Oh, he's doing his thing. Yeah, y'all gonna have certain things where y'all do have to do that too. Um, where y'all will have to, you know, have your own little thing because you don't always want to be up under each other's chest all the time. So I, I totally get it. But when it comes to the bulk of the of things that happen, I want us to have cooperation and I'm kind of, you know, I'm picky about change. So when it comes to cooperating, it's probably going to be me. <laughs> I need to be cooperating. Because when people talk about change, sometimes it scares me. And I'm like, mm, well, this isn't breaking over here. Why, why do we have to go over there? And if I want to be a cool wife, like I'm going to have to trust my husband and his motives and the way he moves. So I have to, first of all, find a man that I can trust. Because you can't be doing that for everybody. I don't care what you say. Listen. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. and then secondly secondly <laughs> secondly you're gonna have to be cooperating with that person when he does make the moves so yeah i want to be able to be cooperative with my husband or with my man so that's important to me as well the next thing i want to be able to bring to um my man is a good communication. Y'all know I've already talked about this. I kind of suck at communicating. Um, it's not that I want you to read my mind, but try. <laughs> but try. No, um, it's not that I want you to read my mind. It's just that I, I am one of those people that I don't like to nag men. Um, cause I'm like, you already go through so much in life. I don't want to nag you because you made me feel uncomfortable here. Or I don't like that you did that there. Um, when in reality, I need to speak up because what happens to me is I don't say anything. And then it's not that I let go of it. No, I, I let it build up. And then I add more stuff and multiply it and triple it times the second power. And then when the littlest thing happens, everything comes out. So I have to be able to communicate properly. So, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't have to be a nagging, but it can be like, Hey, I, I really don't like that. Can you just make sure you don't do it? That's it. You know, just something just basic. So, yeah, I'm going to be able to be a good communicator. And like I said, when stuff hit the fan, sometimes I don't know how to react properly. So I want to work on that as well. And I want to be able to bring that to my relationship. So communication is key. It's what they say in a relationship. And I need this key. Okay. I, I, I need this key. So, yeah, that's what I want to be able to bring. <laughs> The next thing I want to be able to bring is trust. I want to be able to be trusting and as well as be trustworthy. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want my man to feel like he can't trust me with his secrets. Like, he can't trust me to be his authentic self. Like, I don't want my man to ever feel like, oh, I have to put on this brave face. Like, no, I want you to be vulnerable. And at the same time, I want to be able to be vulnerable with you. So trust is a huge thing okay it is very very important um the next thing i wanted myself to be able to bring to a man is y'all gonna laugh the ability to cook at least two two to three meals <laughs> at least two to three meals mama gonna give me because she always be talking about my cooking um or lack thereof um well, yeah, I think it's kind of important to be able to cook just a dash. Now, we live in modern times and we ain't always, you know, going to be able to cook because we all work and all that type of stuff. So I get it. But I still want to be able to like do a little something, something from time to time, even if we're like out to eat a lot or, or ordering in and stuff like that. Like, I that's fine. It's a part of busy life now. But if there's some hamburger in the freezer, I want to know what to do with it. You know, it's, it's a little bit important. So. I want to be able to bring at least the ability to cook something out of a dang old cookbook. That's it. That this this all. Listen, just the ability, just a little dash, just just a dash. So the last thing that I have that I want to be able to bring in myself to a man is a spirituality, y'all. I am a big believer in the Word of God, in Christ, and all that jazz. Um, 
But I feel like when you're in a relationship, your spiritual relationship has to be strong and solid because it's going to help in your relationship. Um, that's just the way I see it personally. You might not agree. You do what you want to do. Like I said, you come up with your own, what you want in a man list. That's all this is, is just to inspire you to really take the time to do some, um, what is it called? Where you document your household. I can't even think of it. Dang, can't think of it. But, but look at yourself and be like, okay, what do I want to bring to my man in order to have a good relationship? Okay, if you don't have it yet, it's fine. Work on it. That's why you're single, to work on stuff, all right? Sometimes your singleness isn't meant for you to just feel alone. Sometimes it's meant for you to work on you so that you can be able to be a better person for the person that God has for you. So, yeah, that is today's video. I hope it inspired you to make your own little list. I know this video was long, but I hope that you watched, um, put myself out there, of course. But it is what it is. Listen, I'm working on me. I am not perfect at all, and I don't pretend to be. So, thanks for watching. If you like videos like this, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. And you already know, I will see you later. Bye.